Good morning, traders. It's Friday, January the 10th. Taking a look at the charts, we got the SP500, and we continue to push up and hit all time highs. Today, the markets, uh, they're pulling back a little bit from the early morning highs. Uh, we're uh, overall, we're still up about uh, uh, a tenth of a percent. NASDAQ up three tenths of a percent. Uh, NASDAQ's really leading the way to the upside, but overall, the market continues to claw its way higher. And uh, if the market pushes up, um, more today to break this morning's high or goes up a uh, Monday we'll be hitting a, a pretty uh, overbought extreme level we are overbought already but there is room for the market to keep running and if we just look at these these tops here you can see we're, we're riding this kind of uh, broadening formation across here across this price action uh, this was news based popping through this uh, this trend line but overall recovered back in there and I'm not a huge fan of megaphone patterns as you know megaphone patterns that are broadening uh, are usually a sign of increased volatility and weakness in the market typically you want to see uh, higher highs and higher lows that is console that is a definition of an uptrend when you're making uh, higher or uh, lower lows and higher highs you're getting into this broadening formation in price and it can create much larger price swings and, and instability and we can see things start to roll over now uh, at this point the trend is still up this can still be seen as a consolidation phase it could be a running correction meaning price is correcting as it's broadening and then continue to extend to the upside that's why we need to stick with the trend and not try to pick tops and bottoms but just know it is overbought it's at the upper end of this megaphone channel it appears through it this morning and it came back down to close within it and maybe it's going to trade sideways for a little bit before potentially going higher but overall we've locked in some gains on our SSO which is a long SP 500 we're very close to our second target uh, depending on the price action goes today we may pull off uh, another portion of this position lock in some gains we're close to the second target and uh, more or less we're right up near this resistance area so uh, it could be good to uh, trim our uh, our profits a little bit and, uh, and protect ourselves in case the market does want to start to roll over now if we take a look over at bonds bonds are still trying to break out of this pattern obviously the news base created a big pop reverse back down and if we go back in time here you can see this pattern unfolding here where we've got uh, these falling this falling trend line in general we're still trading below those we're still trading below or at the 20-day moving average and uh, we really want to start to see this move higher overall it's got a at this point it's got a higher low hopefully this will continue to go up and break this previous spike high or this high depends on which one you want to call it. there's two highs here uh, there's this news based spike which is uh, more or less happened outside of regular trading hours so it wouldn't really count that too much as a, a pivot high but if we can break these two highs here then we could be really off to the races for that upward momentum to pick up speed and take off and of course uh, gold has formed the same pattern it took off and ran obviously with uh, Middle East issues it really ramped up uh, the price of gold bonds I expect to do the same thing but not based so much on fear uh, in terms of the Middle East but in terms of money flowing from um, stock market eventually into the bond market to protect itself of potential uh, downside going forward looking over at um, or just to quickly touch on it I mean some of you have asked uh, what what is a risk off asset and a risk on asset more or less risk on asset means people are feeling good they're gonna put risk into the market they're feeling risk averse I want to dump money in the stock market hope it goes higher uh, they're willing to gamble play riskier stuff so risk on means people are buying riskier plays like small cap stocks the stock market in general risk off means they're feeling very conservative they're worried they want to take their risk out of the market reduce their risk and they move to the bonds or to uh, gold and so when we say it's a risk off market that's people moving out of stocks and moving into lower risk things like bonds and metals pretty straightforward um, but um, uh, that's how it uh, more or less works in general uh, let's take a look over at precious metals gold again same pattern as bonds but uh, Middle East fear really jacked up the price uh, of gold now it's overbought and more or less the markets always have to consolidate after they've moved a certain amount they they typically need a breather you can see here we had a big run up took a little breather another big run up pulled all the way back here took a big breather 
and it ran up again over here and then uh, the bigger the move usually the bigger the breather uh, and over here overall we've had a really big move we broke to new highs again and I think we're gonna see the market consolidate for how long who knows could be a couple weeks couple days could last a couple months before uh, potentially going higher which is what I feel like the final outcome will be again once it consolidates this uh, news based uh, move here in the market looking over at silver it's up six tenths of a percent again similar type of price action falling bull flag is ripped to the upside got a little bit overextended consolidating here for a little bit if we look over at gold miners which we are long it uh, same type of price action ran up has been consolidating it's on this upswing it is trading at the 200 day moving average you can't see it on here but uh, or not the 200 the 20 day moving average it's trading right at the 20 day Hopefully we'll find some traction here and see this actually ramp up and trade in this area and then pop and break. That would be the ideal setup, but there, there's potential here. It consolidates and, and pulls back deeper into kind of this zone, 39, 38 area. It could continue to consolidate more and take a longer time before it starts to rally going forward. But overall, a uh, lot of volume traded in here with fear. It was a previous pivot high in the market, and we're just seeing those positions kind of unwind, consolidate date and we're gonna let the market do its thing but overall the trend continues to be up and we're looking for higher prices looking forward uh, a few weeks or months from now uh, looking at natural gas up 1.7 percent showing some signs of life today uh, again it's still in this falling uh, trend line or below this falling level it's starting to break today if we were to just draw a line across here you can see the short-term resistance highs were popping and breaking through that today uh, we got these other highs here coming down really squishing price based on a, a closing bar uh, and a closing bar so we are starting to break through these falling trend lines but at this point the trend is still down and we've seen the market sell off had a bounce sell off it's had a bounce this still could sell off and flush down for some type of final shakeout overall we're looking for some bottoming formation to start to form in here and then we'll be looking to potentially get long for a play to the upside looking over at crude down three tenths of a percent uh, obviously huge pop this is the last time we had some type of uh, uh, bombing oil pop into this area sold off 18 percent the last time we broke down from this level it sold off 18 percent we're back up we pierced through there on a bunch of news and uh, we've, we're starting to come back down and the big question is are we at a support zone like we've seen here where the market rallies to the upside are we going to see that again or is this the start of um, a potential second wave here we've got the high this tiny little consolidation and that measured move to the downside would bring us down into the mid uh, 50s if it was to just give way it could be something similar to this right here where we saw uh, this type of price action we have the first move down it consolidates for a couple of days you get the second half of that move down and, uh, and it just kept on going and flushing itself all the way out till it got to this long-term support zone and uh, we'll see how things go but overall crude just starting to lose its upward momentum right at the close yesterday it wasn't able to really hang on it's got orange bars indicating it's shifting from a from green uptrend to now it's neutral it's on the verge of potentially rolling over and giving way to a downward move and we could see a continuation drop here um, we've seen it could be something like this where we barely really have any type of bounce or play it just gives way for the second half of the move we saw that here we saw that here uh, and the question is is that going to happen again here anyway that is it for this morning we're looking for some new trade setups and uh, we'll talk to you soon bye-bye